Hi, my name is Debbie and I'm the founder of Icing Images. And I'm here today to talk about printing without iPrint. Now, as many of you know, iPrint is a free program offered by Icing Images, which allows you to print your images uh, directly from our program. It has basic features like text, uh, it adds frames, and it also allows you to print on the circles that are pre-cut. One limitation of iPrint is that it only works if you have a PC or a Mac. If you're trying to print from your phone or use an iPad or even a Chromebook, iPrint will not work for you. So here's what you do. It is important with whatever program you use, whether it's a graphics program or a program that uses the Canon software on your phone or iPad, you want to make sure that you have the proper settings for printing with edible ink. So I'm going to go over those with you. So the first setting you want to work with, you can actually access through your phone or Chrome in your printer properties or your printer preferences. And that's the media type. So you want to go into those settings and look for where it says media type and you'll have a drop down menu. And what you want to do is select matte paper. The other setting you need to look at and actually leave alone is your print quality. You want to leave that at standard. Selecting high only puts more ink on the icing sheet and it can't handle that much ink. So leave it at standard. It gives, and you can get vibrant prints just with that setting. Borderless is the third setting you want to look at. And within borderless, there is a slider bar that allows you to change the amount of extension when you're using the borderless setting. You want to slide the slider bar all the way to the left or select large. And that allows you to print edge to edge on your icing sheet. Now paper abrasion is a tricky one because you don't have access on your Chromebook or your iPhone or your iPad to select that setting. You're actually going to have to use the screen that is on the printer in order to set this specific setting. Now paper abrasion, what it is good for is opening up the rollers just a little bit to allow the icing sheet to flow smoothly through the printer. So you really want to set that. When using an iPhone, a Chromebook, or an iPad, something other than a PC or Mac computer, you'll need to set your paper abrasion on the printer itself. Most of the printers that we have have a screen that allows you to select different settings right on the printer itself. The wide format printer, which is the iX6820, does not. So that's the only one that you can't, you can't change the paper abrasion on, on the printer. So the home screen pretty much looks like this, and it does differ by printer, but they basically all work the same. You're gonna wanna go to the settings button, and you'll see the screen, something similar to this pop-up. You click on settings and you click on device settings and then you print, click on printer settings. And there's your paper abrasion right there. Now it's, it, each printer does have the same menu type. It just always looks a little bit different. So you click on your paper abrasion, you click on and it would save it. And it's as easy as that. It all really comes down to four settings that you want to select in order to make sure you have the most vibrant images as possible. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon. Happy decorating.